Hello, and welcome to Fox Tech. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to disable messages on your iPhone. There's an important distinction to be made between iMessages, which are sent over the internet, and regular text messages or SMS, which are sent through your cellular network using the Messages app on your iPhone. Let's dive into how you can manage these settings effectively. First, let's talk about iMessage. iMessage is the default messaging service on iPhones and requires an internet connection to deliver messages. These messages appear in blue bubbles. To turn off iMessage, start by opening the Settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down and select Messages. Here, you'll see the option to toggle off iMessage. Simply switch off this toggle and your messages will be sent as SMS, which appear in green bubbles instead of iMessages. Turning off iMessage ensures that your text messages are sent as SMS and do not rely on Wi-Fi or cellular data. This can be particularly useful if you want to avoid using data for messaging or if you're in an area with poor internet connectivity but still have cellular service. If you decide to turn iMessage back on later, you can easily do so by going back into the settings and toggling the iMessage option back on. Now, if you want to disable messages entirely, it's important to note that you can't completely stop others from sending you SMS text messages if you have a working phone number. This is simply the nature of how phones work. While you can disable iMessage, SMS will still come through as long as your phone number is active. For more targeted control over receiving messages, you would need to contact your cellular carrier. They can provide options to block specific numbers, or in extreme cases, disable your phone number from sending or receiving text messages altogether. However, this might not be a suitable option for most people as it would prevent all text communication. To summarize, while you can turn off iMessage to ensure your messages are sent as SMS, completely disabling all messages isn't feasible without significant intervention from your carrier. It's all about finding the right balance that suits your needs and preferences. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to disable messages on your iPhone. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Fox Techs for more tech tips and tutorials. Until next time, peace.